can and you must. And now is the best possible time for you to do it. She is asleep up there and he isn't back yet. That's the weak link. He may come back. Of course he will come back, George. He lives here. But you saw him go off with that brighter chap. You heard him. Probably the depths of some drunken orgy. Besides, it's part of the plan that he does come back eventually to discover the body. And you, George, seem determined to disappoint him! Uh, well. There's no risk as long as you do it now. I'll keep a lookout. I, uh, I think I'd like to reassess our plan. It couldn't be more simple. Oh, she awakens, starts downstairs, slips on that rug that I've been slaving over, under, and falls to her death below. It isn't much of a fall. She might survive. It is very likely that she will survive, but not after you put your hands around her neck and break it. Someone will suspect. No, we're going to arrange it to look like a perfectly normal accident. Mary, what do you say? George, there's no risk. Just do it now. But what if we're found out? Let's just hope we've got somebody like you handling the prosecution, eh? Come but on. Mary, it's not that I don't love you. Oh, for God's sake, what you need, George Tickle, is moral courage. Come! Tomorrow, 
Can't it, dear? Yes, I'm sure it can. Okay. Good night, then. <laughs> Alongside those stairs. Okay. Oh, three, two, one. Right, here we go. Oh, Woo! Where is the tongue? Oh, George, can't be so rude about women. Oh, oh, I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Susie! Susie, run! Janet will be down in the ground in a minute. Janet! 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 